In this video, I'm doing a position analysis from the Las Vegas Open 2023. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. Thank you to Mark Olson of Backgammon Galaxy and Bill Riles of Ace Point Backgammon for allowing me to use this position in the video. So this is the position we're looking at. It's from the finals of the Masters jackpot of the 2023 Las Vegas Open, of course, in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is a 15-point match between two outstanding players. Carl Sellers is playing the white checkers at the top and Matt Conguyer, the, uh, Matt Conguyer, the dark checkers at the bottom. Uh, it's a 15-point match. Carl is leading 5-0, so 10 away, 15 away. The cube is in the middle, and Matt has a 3-1 to play. So I'll let you pause the video, think about what you would like to play or what you would play in this position, and then we'll look at the analysis uh, in a moment. In the meanwhile, if you'd like to see exactly what happened in the match, there's a link in the description below, and you can click on that link, and it'll take you to the exact moment uh, in this match. Okay, so let's take a look. Here, Matt has a 10 pip lead in the race and just wants to bring his checkers home. Carl has an anchor on the 20 point, Matt's five point, and a goalkeeper back here, trying to make it hard for Matt to come in uh, easily. So one option is to make the three point, and that just makes another inner board point, which is nice. The other option is to make the seven point. And here it's actually better to make the seven point. That's the correct play. This is what it looks like. You move one from the 10 to the seven and one from the eight to the seven. And the resulting position is here. This is nice because it provides additional landing spots for this checker to come home. It also blocks a few numbers from hitting. Um, that's exactly what you don't want as black. You don't want to be hit. So uh, double six will not hit because it's blocked, and double two will not hit either. In the other play, if you make the three point by playing six to three here and four to three here, this is the resulting position. And now, if white rolls a double six, one, two, it hits, and also a double two that was blocked. In the other position, in the uh, when you make the bar point, now it can be used to hit. Um, it also does not provide an additional landing spot for this checker on the midpoint to come in. So again, this is what it looks like, and this is the other play. And if we look at the dice distribution, this is the equity heat map of the top play of making the bar point on the upper left, and then the second play of making the three point on the upper right. And the difference is here. And you can see the two big swing rolls in favor of the top play are double six and double two. Those are the hitting plays where the opponent can hit after making the three, after making the three point, but not after making the bar point or the seven point. And this is how they would play. Again, double six here, it would hit and double two as well, but not in the other one. Additionally, with a six five, uh, the opponent could run with 24 13, but not when it's, when it's blocked. So that's what you wanna think about when you're bringing your checkers home, how to prevent being hit and how to come home easily. So that was the position analysis from the Las Vegas Open 2023. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos. Thank you again to Mark Olson of Backgammon Galaxy and Bill Riles of Ace Point Backgammon for allowing me to use this position in the video. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.